Hi everybody, this is Patrick from Doggy Dashboard, and today I'm going to show you how to use the new waivers and releases e-signature feature. So this is going to be something you can use to get your clients to sign a waiver or a release or any document that requires a signature. And so to get started, we're going to have to get, uh, create some templates. And so if we were to send them one right away, we would click here and click send signature request. However, as you, you can see, it says we have no template saved, so let's get started. We'll click here, the new waiver template. Once we get there, you can see that there's some steps up here you can read. And so this feature is made for single signature documents. This is something that just needs one signature on it. This is not for documents that require multiple drop down boxes or multiple fields that need to be filled in. If you need something that has custom fields where your clients fill in a box here, they select from a drop down there, they enter some information here, you're going to want to use something like DocuSign. DocuSign is $480 a year. It's quite expensive, but it does give you all the features of those fully customizable um, e-signatures. Doggy Dashboard's e-signature feature is just for single signature, single signature documents, and I'll show you uh, what that means. So here we can see we have three templates available, waiver one, waiver two, waiver three. They're called waivers, but you can consider them releases or documents, whatever you want to, but the term waiver is used here. What we need to do is first get our, uh, our document up and running. And so what we're going to do is go here and take this. This is just a basic uh, waiver or release that's written in Lorem Ipsum. Um, we cannot provide any contracts or templates for you. You'll have to talk to your uh, legal advisor for that. So this is just all um, basically text that has, means nothing. And so we're going to call this the general terms and conditions of boarding. And we will go here and we will hit preview waiver. Let's see. So that looks good, um, but you can see nothing's bold right now. And we want to have bold here for the boarding policy. We want board here for the grooming policy. So we're going to close this little uh, window and we're going to do a little bit HTML. If you put a B inside those carrots and then on the back side of what you want to have be bold, you put a B and you put a slash, you can see that's right here. The word in between these HTMLs will turn bold. So if we click preview now, you can see that boarding policy is now in bold. So what we're going to do is take these Bs and we're going to put one in front of grooming and refund and social media policy. We'll put it in front of the damage clause and we'll go down here and we'll just put a B in front of all these things that we want to have be bold. And we'll keep going through here. It takes a little while. And then we go back up, we can copy and paste the backside B, which is what makes things bold from the backside, and put that at the end of each word or sentence that we want to be bold. And so once we get these all on there, this can take a little time. Make sure you use the correct B here and then a B with a little slash there. If you don't use the correct uh, tags, they're called, you're not going to see bold and you're going to be confused. So just go through and make sure the front of the bold phrase has a B and the back of the bold phrase has a B with a slash in it. I would suggest just copying them from right up here and putting them um, on your waiver. So we're just about done here. And go here and let's take a look. We'll preview that waiver. And there you go. Now boarding policy is in bold. Grooming policy looks like everything we wanted to be bold looks good. And here it says once the waiver is signed, the IP address signature and approval will show up down here. So it looks pretty good. So let's save this one. And so we're going to save waiver one. Okay, looks like we're set. Now we can go back to signature requests here. And let's say we want to send this signature request to somebody. We're going to go here. Um, one of our a client just signed up um, and we have other information on file. And so we're going to go here. We're going to select the general terms and conditions of boarding. And then we're going to select Johnson, Steve Johnson. Where is he at? He is right there. And we'll send that to him. Now you can see an email is going to get sent to Steve that says, Hi, Steve, you just received a signature request from your business's name. We'll go right here. And Steve has to click on this link and it'll take him to the signature page. So he clicks here and there you go. Now you can see your contract or your waiver is showing up right there. And he will go to the bottom. He'll read through the whole thing. He'll get here to the bottom and he'll put his name. I'll just do Steve Johnson. 
he agrees to sign digitally. His name is Stephen, Steve James Johnson, and his email is steve at example.com. He signs the document right here. There's a little page here he'll go to once the signature, um, once he completes the signature. And now in a few seconds, a couple emails are going to get fired off. We'll wait for those to load. There we go. So the first email that comes in is going to be to your business, which is going to say, Hi, Muddy Pups Boarded and Grooming. Steve Johnson just signed your document. And you can click here to view the signature. So if we look there, here is the signature. Here's a document. And we scroll down to the very bottom. And there's Steve Johnson, IP address, time of day, email, all that other good stuff right there at the bottom. So that's nice. And then Steve will get an email from Doggy Dashboard, giving him a copy of the waiver so he can keep it on his computer for his own records. And so now if we go back to the waivers page and we refresh, you can see now it says it's been signed. So that is done. Let's send another one. Let's just send it, this one to, we'll send it to Winston Churchill. And uh, send that one. There goes the email. We don't care about that. But now you can see here the status says delivered but unsigned. So if you refresh the page here, this will keep you up to date with where your requests are at. So you can send out a bunch of requests and you can see, okay, uh, Stephen Johnson signed his, but Winston has not. Once a document has been signed, you can delete it right here and you're good to go because the document automatically gets uploaded to that client's profile. So if we go to Steve Johnson's profile right now, there, right there, you can see the document he signed has already been uploaded to his account for you, and it is there for safe storage. So we'll click there, and you can see that Steve's uh, document is there in his file. So that looks good. And now if you were to delete a signature request that has been delivered but not signed, if you do that and your client tries to click on the signature link, it's not going to work. Um, and so just make sure you don't delete requests that haven't been signed yet. Otherwise, your client might say, hey, I clicked on the link and it said it was invalid. Can you please send me a new request? And you'll have to go back here, select their name and send them a new request. Um, and so that is how that works. And so this is how you would do it if you want to send them just from clients who are already in your database. But let's imagine you have a client who just signed up using your new client form and you want to send them a request as well. What we'll do is we'll go make a fake new client registration. And so we'll name this one, uh, let's use Mary Poppins. She's always a nice one to use. Mary Poppins, her phone number is going to be like this. And give her a full phone number at least. And her email is marypoppins at example.com. She's going to sign up for your business. Uh, and her dog is going to be named Stick. It's going to be a collie. It's a speed female. And she is going to be brown and white. And then Mary submits your new client form. And there we go. You probably all recognize this email that you get right here from Doggy Dashboard when someone submits your new client form. So that's great. Let's go back to our Doggy Dashboard homepage. There should be a new notification there. It's good to see. And you can see right here, we have one that says Steve Johnson signed a waiver. So when one of your clients signs a waiver, you'll get a notification just so you know, besides that email. We'll delete that though. And you can say here, Mary Poppins submitted your new client registration form. So let's add her. We click take action, remember. Go through here, information looks good. Yep, everything looks good. We're gonna save the client, add her to the database. And there we go. So she's now been added to our database. And you'll see here, there's a little button that says signature request. As soon as you add her to your database, you can send her a request because she's in the database. You can't send requests to people who haven't been saved in your database because Doggy Dashboard doesn't know who to email. And so now Mary Poppins, we add her to the database and we say, hey, Mary, we just added you to the database. You're going to receive an email with our waiver that you need to sign. Just sign and get it back to us as soon as you can. So you go here. You're going to send the general terms and conditions of boarding. Send that to her so fast it says su success your signature request was sent so we're good to go there if we click signature request again we can click here view active signature requests and we can see that there is now a signature signature request for mary poppins and let's imagine i'm mary poppins right now i click on the the signature i go through here i type in m p for mary poppins it also works on cell phones with your finger and you can do a much more uh, smooth signature or a tablet, but you can also sign with a mouse. 
uh, we'll go yes. Her name is Mary Poppins. Her name email is mary at poppins.com. This could, does not have to be the email that she used to sign up. This could be anything else. This because this is what she's going to get sent. But I believe it was Mary Poppins at example.com. So let's just keep it all in the same example.com. So Mary signs the document. She sees the classic page of saying thank you for signing the document. She sees this nice little thing from Wisconsin here for a rescue that uh, Doggy Dashboard features on this page. There's the email for us saying, hi, Muddy Pups Boarding and Groomy. Mary signed the document. Here is the email that we send to Mary saying, here's a, a copy of the document you just signed. So we'll go click these out, go back to our dashboard. There should be a new notification. We go there. It says Mary Poppins signed a waiver. Let's take action. We can look here and it looks like, yep, it does look like she signed it. And so if we want to view signature, we can click there. It takes us right to the document, uh, which we already know down at the bottom, MP for Mary Poppins. However, we could also click view owner profile and that'll open up Mary Poppins's profile. And sure enough, there in the uploaded owner document section is the contract or the waiver or the release, whatever you want to call it, that she just signed. And so that is saved to her file. And now we can go here. We can safely delete the signature request. We delete the request. And if we go to her profile page and refresh the page, the contract stays there. And so that is how you use the waivers and releases e-signature uh, feature of Doggy Dashboard. It's taken a lot of time and coding to make this feature. I hope it uh, really helps your business run more smoothly. If you have any questions, info at doggydashboard.com. Otherwise, thanks for watching this video and have a great day.